Welcome to the inaugural issue of the Food for Your Soul a la carte. You can pick and choose. The whole point of this is just to give you something you can scroll through and pick out something that's helpful. You know, so many times you go online, there's clickbait, you know, you find these things to click on, little videos or articles or whatever inane thing. You find, a, find yourself wasting so much time. And so what I want to do is create something a little bit like that, except the things you can click on will actually edify you and build you up and encourage you in the Lord. So the way I'm getting these, this isn't just random material. One of the reasons I'm doing this is I, I realize over the years I have preached so many things that haven't sunk into my heart. I, You know, when you're preaching every week, it goes by kind of fast and some things take more than one week to really get a handle on and to really put into practice. And when you're preaching, you just have to move on to the next sermon every single week. So I'm going back through sermons over the years, listening through some of these series and picking out the cream of the crop as far as what's most life-changing, what's been most life-changing for me in my life or what needs to be more life-changing, the most important messages in each series. And, uh, and so, so I'm just going to give you the links each week as I come across this stuff. Uh, there'll be articles and quotations, book reviews when I finish a book, highlights from the books, uh, different sermons that have been helpful. So here's what we've got this week. First, the article on how to break a habit. This isn't new. Some of you have seen this before I posted this last year, but it's January 1st, time for New Year's resolutions. Pretty close to mid-January, which is the time when most resolutions have gone by the wayside, right? Not very many people have much success with resolutions, and there's a reason for that, and it's in this article. Uh, just some ideas on how to make real lasting change, not just some resolution that falls by the side in two weeks, but something that really will make a change in your life. Next one, sermon by John Piper. Don't be a sucker. You can sow without reaping what you sow, sucker. That's what the devil says to us that and many other ways that he deceives us. People get taken in by financial scams every day. Worse, Christians can get taken in by Satan's scams every day. Pi uh, John Piper here does a great job in pointing us to the biblical warnings about those scams. Highly recommend this sermon. Very, very helpful. Good, good message. Next one, a sermon on uh, titled Get Some Rest. And you might remember this one. It's more recent. It's a message that will help you Learn how to enjoy God's complete acceptance of you. It's a message on the Sabbath day and what it means to have Sabbath rest. Do you, do you really, really enjoy the sense that God accepts you? He, you don't have to prove it. You don't have to justify your existence. He accepts you. And do you enjoy that? What do you do when the weight on your shoulders is just too much and the pressure for is making life burdensome the, the, the struggle to justify your existence or the struggle to get what you think you need in order to be happy or the oppressive struggle of measuring up in the eyes of your father or your friends or yourself or whatever how do you get rest from all that and why is it so important to god that you find that rest that's what this message is all about next sermon Stand firm. This is the most important message, I think, out of the Armor of God series. I just recently listened back through that series from Ephesians 6. There's three messages that stood out, a couple on prayer, but especially this one. This is part one of the series, Stand Firm. You know, it's hard to take our spiritual warfare as seriously as we take physical dangers. But the Bible warns us about an adversary, a real dangerous adversary, and how much, how, how much danger do you think that you're in? When you think about the warnings that they're in Scripture, do you take those warnings seriously? And, how, you know, we, we get lax in our spiritual life. So if you've become lackadaisical in your walk with the Lord and you're not alert to those dangers, it would be a good message for you to listen to. And then finally, an article on the age of the earth. This one's more extensive. The, the, if you... Uh, aren't especially interested in this, you might know when I'll go through the whole article, but it, it's an article that shows why this issue is important. What does the Bible say about the age of the earth? How does that fit with what we learn from science? And why is it important for your Christian life? So if you have some time to dig into a little deeper article, then I'd recommend that to you. The uh, 
this quotation uh, didn't Chris Reeves heard it from someone else I forget who Ravi Zacharias or something like that but I heard it from Chris so I'm attributing it to him I love it the difference between a Christian and an atheist is the Christian believes in the virgin birth of one man and the atheist believes in the virgin birth of everything <laughs> minus the virgin right not even a mother everything came from nothing great quote well I hope you find something in here that's useful and I hope that you will comment on the bottom. There's a comment section. Please let me know what you think. If anything's uh, helpful, let me know that. And especially if you have some thoughts about what kind of article or message would be useful to you in the future, what would you like to see appear on this blog, let me know. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe. If you, just, if you just go over on the right side there, put your email uh, address in, hit subscribe. Then each week you'll get these. Whenever I update it, which will be... For now, I'll do, do it once a week. It might move to once a month. But uh, you won't get any email if there's nothing updated. It'll only email if, you, if there's something new. So uh, go ahead and click on that. And uh, I pray this will be a blessing. Lord bless you all.